Greetings, I the War Al greets you, and I'm going to be showing you here once again another 5 vs. 5 Counter-Strike global offensive match. This one is going to be between Complexity and the Ninjas in Pajamas. Ninjas in Pajamas, number one team in the world, rated over and over time and time again. Winners of all kinds of crazy tournaments, and then we have Complexity, one of the top teams in North America. They're going to be playing here in the Grand Finals, best of three series. And Swag goes down, that was quick, there goes nothing. A lot of players going down here. Terrace now going to be pushing up at short A. Four of them left. Just he go one versus four. We do not have our map overview yet, unfortunately. Looks like Ninjas in Pajamas will be taking the pistol round very quickly there. Starting up one point. Pistol round so incredibly important. T side, that's going to force complexity to have to save until fourth round. Unless they try to do some kind of crazy third round buy. Let's see what they're going to do. And we check out their money. Doesn't look like they're purchasing anything here, so maybe setting up... There's one. Hiko bought one thing. I think it's a P250. Only 300 on that. Maybe setting themselves up for a surprise buy. We'll see what happens on this round. All up to see what they can accomplish here and get enough money for it. And we do have a buy here. We have AK-47 on uh, Forest. The rest of them are going to be eco weapons. Here comes Exist pushing with this P90. And Free Batters takes out Swag fairly quickly. Here's Hiko, B250, catches, get right off ground, grabs himself a buy zone. Once again, the last player left, one versus two, he still has a chance, but he does go down. They actually took out three players, let's check out that money. Money, 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 it doesn't look like they're going to be able to buy. Not happening, we'll be going for that fourth round buy, so here we go, another win for the ninjas in pajamas. Now this round, there's no reason not to buy the P250s. It's only 300, they'll still have enough to, to uh, buy on the next round. So Hiko once again buying the uh, pistol again. And by the way, this is gonna be a little bit difficult for me to cast because there is currently a bug right now in the system where it the auto director is always on and there's nothing I can do about it. So I wanna watch Free Bears there because I saw he's gonna go for the picks on these players who are pushing him. Here's nothing, Free Bears gonna take him out pretty soon. There he goes. But unfortunately, it keeps switching positions, and I have no control over it. So very unfortunate. There's Hiko trying to get the drop on him. Probably not going to happen. Wow, Forrest takes him out from the back. And now just two players on Complexly left. We have Gers and Semphis. Both of them at the middle. Here's Get Right. Doesn't look at Semphis, who is right behind him. Oh my, had a perfect shot, but was not able to take it. I don't know why I looked at my uh, console there, like I was going to be able to see the damage that he did. Would like to be able to see that damage against that player. Actually, you could, just by using these bar things here. I hate orange. So yes, once again, very difficult for me to cast. This is the buy round here. Complexity will be able to buy fourth round. We have Gares with an AWP playing A side. Probably going to pick at long and then fall back to watch short A from Car. And we have Terrace splitting up all over the map. Two of them went into B tunnels, three of them middle. They've dropped the bomb, so they're going for picks. And we do have Semphis in position to get picked. Love that skin. Jungle Tiger, rar. Smokes are down at middle. Moves back into CT spawn. So uh, looks like complexity is very A heavy. B might be a good place to exploit. While Semphis takes out Forest through the middle, down to four health himself. And Ninjas in Pajamas should be aware of that as well. So Ninjas in Pajamas, a little bit down right now, but they still have a chance on this. Looks like Free Betters wants to try and get some picks over here at short A. Once again, complexity, very A heavy. Nothing actually rotating over to B side. Nothing happening over at B side. Free Betters waiting for that smoke to clear. Free Better before he goes for this pick. I just love saying the name, sorry. And he'll be flashing and going out there. Going for this pick. Double flash. Making it look like they're going A. So maybe a B push. Yep. Free Bears jumps down. Catches nothing off guard. Very sneaky. Through the smoke. Terrorists now take middle and will do a mid to B. So it is all up to swag now to hold this off. Four players converging on him. Here come the ninjas in pajamas. And he does trade himself. That's not what he wants to do at this point in time. He wanted to delay those players as long as possible. Is it three versus three? Complexity has a chance to retake this site. Not a very a big chance, though. It's a very difficult retake. Smokes are down. Uh, no re-smokes. And, wow, going up into the... Wow, that's a crazy pick here from Garris. He is definitely going for it. And I don't think ninjas in pajamas are going to peek, though. That would be bad for them. The reason it's a difficult retake is because they do not have smokes or nades or anything like that to push in there. And they will have to pull back. So that's going to be that for... Complexity. It looks like Gidright wants to actually grab a frag as they get away, and he does through the wall. Takes out Gares. Just Semphis left. 
Three players moving in on him. Please, live, Zemphis. Oh, what? Takes out for Flare and then goes down. And it looks like Complexity will lose that round. Ninjas in pajamas well ahead. Free bench with the four frag. Let's get the Owl of Vision on the all of the frags. Wasn't that lovely? We had some uh, refrags there. We saw what was going on, but that is okay. We are now back in the game here. Ninjas in pajamas at four points. Complexity at zero. And here we go. Brush. Ninjas in pajamas. Why is there no smoke down? Because it is a save round. What? Deagle. One hit Deagle there. Here come the terrorists now taking the site. Swag is, is down. That was crazy. Able to get the one Deagle on that player as he moves in there. Deagle is, of course, an accurate weapon. If you are completely still, goodbye nothing. Two players left, not going to happen. Eco weapons, they're just going for exit frags at this point. Gary set himself up to take these guys who are pushing mid, but that is not going to happen. All kinds of craziness there. He wasn't able to really make in his mind an idea of where those players were to get the pre-shot. Hiko's got a chance again. Freebetters here. If he decides to run out, if he goes lower, Freebetters will be fine. Hiko will not get the frag. Hiko may want to push right now. Nope, he's waiting for that player to peek out. Terrace pulled back into B site, and now will be running over at A and leaving. All right, let's see. Hiko, he's got nothing to lose. He hasn't bought anything. Doesn't have armor. And there's Forrest. Oh, can he get it? Yes, he does. He go. Nice job taking out Forrest. Let's get an Owl Vision on the Deagle. Sorry, two Owl Visions right in a row. And we are back. Looks like we're going to have a lot of Owl Visions in this game. Lots of amazing plays going on. We have a double off here from Team Complexity. Gers and Swag. Swag going to be taking B side. Gers looks like he's going to go back and play A. Was just spraying at middle in the beginning of it. Double off is incredibly expensive and very risky. We check out the money. Complexity has completely bought. And what really advantage do you get with double op? Ninjas in pajamas, um, Flaren doesn't use the op very much anymore. It's sort of just sort of like obsolete at this point for the ninjas in pajamas. And they're the ones who define high level play. I say as Swag takes out three players solo, holding B off by himself. And uh, Garris takes another one. Wow! Swag with a four frag there, opping like a pro, man. Garris is the opper for the team, but Swag. Knows how to handle the thing. And Garris is also the strat caller. Complexity now at one point. Ninjas in pajamas at five. Taking back that one round just due to the individual skill of swag here. He stole that for his team. There was no tactical advantage that Complexity had. None. It was just pure out shooting. And Ninjas in pajamas surprisingly got outshot. Now there is a sexy skin. Black laminate. AK-47 stat track. I want that now. And it is very fitting that Forrest has it. All right, here is Exist. Throw in the pre-nade. Pre-nade does a little bit of damage off of Hiko. Let's do math. 13. And Exist trying to split the Raiders down at mid. Smoke is there. That smoke will say we are going short A. So here's Hiko to hold that off. It may, of course, be a fake. Ah, we saw them actually spray where the player would have pushed, assuming that they were going short A. Hiko would have died if he was down there, so that was actually... Very smart of ninjas in pajamas. Still have middle. Maybe doing a mid to B. If they smoke over, Semphis in position to deal with it. I don't know if he saw that player. He should hear them jumping up there, though. I'm not sure why he didn't pre-shoot. There's Faflaren. And he does pre-shoot Faflaren. That was nice. And they will be pushing A. So here's Gares to hold this off. Swag will be rotating over to middle. B is actually exposed right now because of this. They assume ninjas in pajamas will go 100% here at short A. And it looks like they are. Semphis in position. Over at the Elevator. And there's Garrus taking a player down. Headshot with an off. Overkill. There it is. Exist. Not much health left. Now going to be a three versus two. Terrorists do have positional advantage because they are up at A. We have Garrus over at long A. He's going to try and prevent them from planting. Look at this. Counter-terrorists think that they rotated back, but they did not. Whoa! Get right jumps into CT spawn. 
And there's Swag. Oh, get right in such a precarious position. If Swag beaks, he's dead. Oh, what? Get right reloads. One player at short. Exist does take him down. We saw Get right did hear that player. One player still at long. That is Garrus. Four health left. And he does go down. Ninjas in pajamas takes that. But Complexity very oddly pulled back from bombsite A. I'm not sure what was going on there. They assumed it was a fake out, but Ninjas in pajamas kept with it and pushed. So Complexity got a little bit outsmarted there. Looked like they were going to have the advantage if they just held their ground and tried to hold bombsite A. But they spread out, they played it safe, and Ninjas in pajamas was able to abuse that. All right, for Flare and Long, going for the picks. We have saving players. This is not a difficult situation. And there's Get Right for Flare. And all, all four of them, look at that, are at long A. So that's not really the place to push right now. They leave Get Right here and they push short. And oh, here we go. Looking for that one dig. Zemphis actually takes off half damage of that player doing a body shot. Takes three body shots to kill with this thing. And it's very inaccurate. You get one shot with it and you gotta pull back. Ow, that had to hurt. Now just two players left. Hiko here with a 5-7. This thing is uh, actually very, very good. Probably the best pistol in the game right now. And it looks like it once again is Hiko versus the world. One versus four. Not gonna happen. He is probably going to die. I mean, get right there. Watching for the exit frag on him if he tries to leave. And it looks like he's gonna peek. That will spell disaster. What? Almost took out Exist. Now get right springs into action. Doesn't matter. Forest. Picks it up. All right, Terrace win. Ninjas in pajamas are making quick work of team complexity. And moving on to the next round, Ninjas in pajamas at seven. Looks like they're going for a fast cat pick with this op. Let's see if Garrus can pull it off. All four of those ninjas in pajamas over at long A will start to take middle fairly soon. Gara's in position just in case they do that. And here they come. Smoking out the middle. And there's Exist. Headshot position. Oh, there's a nade. Gara's holds his ground though. He's still here. Takes two of those nades. Still at good health. Oh, he could have picked the player. Just missed. Very close. Exist takes the opportunity to push, but nothing is there to back him up. So we had a leg by Gara's. And then nothing picks off the player for the win there. For Flaren, takes advantage of nothing jumping down there. When you jump down like that, you lose your um, you lose your accuracy big time. Terra's now taking position inside of the site. Hiko to try and retake. Actually picks off Forest. Now a three versus two. Terra's have positional advantage inside of the site. We'll be planting that thing. Safe plant position. Now they just have to hold this off. Get right up here. Freeberge over at CT. Trades himself. Now what he wants to do, get right now. One versus two. These, I mean, uh, Complexity has to engage this intelligently at the same time. Nope, they're going one at a time. This is not what they want to do. There's Semphis jumping up and spraying. Oh, and they do take him down, though. Get right goes down. And they will be defusing that bomb. He'd go now. Three frag. A little bit of a confusion on the defuse, but it goes... Counter-terrorist win, Complexity takes back a point. So keep in mind, this is a terrorist-sided map, so don't count Complexity out just yet. Ninjas in Pajamas most definitely be able to buy this round. Complexity's got to win a few to try and force... I mean, they've won so many now, I don't even know if they can force it into a save for Ninjas in Pajamas. Have to whittle them down quite a bit here. And look, we have Forest going to be opping. so Fafleren seems to have given the thing up for good lately. Just because of the uh, the poor performance with that thing he's been giving. Ever since he switched back to AK, sort of got used to it. Been playing a little bit better. And Forrest taking this thing now. They usually use Fafleren as the main opper. He would op every single time that you needed an opper. And Forrest would take secondary offer if they decided to do a two-op strategy. Now, Fafleren never picks the thing up. And Terrace now at middle. They are, of course, playing a bunch of North American teams, though, so we might see a different setup by them. They might experiment a little bit more, um, try to get used to different styles of play a little bit more, because they're not playing against the, uh, the top teams that they're used to. Not saying that this isn't a difficult game for them. And there is nothing spraying through the middle, down to 30 health now. Terra spread up all over the map. 
We have three bears going for picks again. Entry fragging. Oh, dodges that nade. Very, very good game sense to avoid that hand grenade. Perfect timing. See him pull out of the way just in time. Two players inside of A. One of them at uh, the uh, elevator area. One of them at the ramp. And whoa, Freebarish dies. <laughs> Falls to his death as he jumps over the wall. He's doing that parkour stuff we saw him do last game as well. Nothing. Going for those pre-shot headshots. Now it looks like Terrace have fallen back with that bomb and taken B. So that was a trick. And of course we have another trick. Get right is behind you. You are now going to die. Look at that perfect spray down now. Swag trying to hold it off. There's Fafleren. Takes him down. But Forrest, close range, ops him in the chest, plants the bomb. Did not work out for you, Swag. That had to hurt. Not sure if that was a no-scope or not by Forrest. It was a very close range op. Not sure if he had time to scope in and do that. All right, complexity now at two points. Ninjas in pajamas at eight. Well ahead, but keep in mind this is a best of three series. So we could have potentially three games, maybe two. So we are very, very early in this thing. Another save round here from Complexity, and of course, terrorist sided map. The only terrorist sided map that is played. And here comes Gares with a P. 250. So we have buys of the pistols. Hiko with this thing. Best pistol. Maybe see uh, who was the player who was deagling. Was that Swag? Swag now with a uh, USP. Notice how nobody uses the P2000. It was, of course, a post update game. And Hiko. One versus five, once again. Never around when the action happens. But that's because that's his position. And he does go down. Goes for rotates. Lurks, as you will. I think they call it lurk in North America, yes. Complexity now at two points. Ninjas in pajamas at nine. Well, well ahead. They will have guns for us. Will be taking the role of Opper. Despite being the best... Rifler in the original Counter-Strike. Um, some would say of all time. Huh? I want to see in the comments, you guys, who's the best Rifler of all time? Counter-Strike. Go. Not go, I meant go, like type it. Alright, we have nothing now pushing up. And Counter-Terrorists. Take B. Congratulations. Not sure what that gains you. Now Terrorists are going to be pushing at A. There's a smoke to try and prevent them from pushing. And the smokes have worked. Complexity, making sure they can't push at A. They took posi they took B tunnels completely, and then rotated all the way back, delaying the terrorists, so they weren't able to push where they were strongest. So now Ninjas in Pajamas has got to come up with a strategy. It looks like Exist is trying to peek. Whole bunch of players waiting for them, so Complexity has tricked them and got them into this position. It's going to be very difficult for them. They're all at long A now. Complexity sort of waiting for them to push at this point. Knows where they are. Only has one player watching B. Ninjas in pajamas probably shouldn't push here. They have 40 seconds. They could go back middle. And they will be going for it. There's the smoke for the cross. Free Bears getting ready to just run forward. And here they go. Exist dies on the cross. Not a perfect smoke to get by. Free Bears does take the sight. Will be planting that bomb safe. Counter terrorists. Gonna have to try and rotate and retake this thing now. Wow, tables turned very, very quickly now. Get right dies. He's trying to come up from behind. Three players left, just three birds left. One versus three. Can he do it? It is not an easy situation. And he does go down. Complexity takes another round. They're now at three points. Still have a, a you know, room to come back. They want to win the rest of the rounds, though, to put themselves in a position where they can win this game. As it stands right now, Ninjas in Pajamas is, of course, ahead. If they put themselves at six points, they still got a chance. They just have to win that pistol round. I think the next side pistol round is going to be so incredibly important. I think if Complexity loses it, I think that's going to be it for them. They will be, boom, dead, headshot, and we'll see what happens. All right, Dan, we'll check out their CT side set up here. We do have two players over at B very quickly. This is actually an abnormal setup. They pushed B once again. Congratulations, you have the B tunnels. And Freebarge up there. Almost took the drop off of Hiko. Pushing forward, catches him a little bit off guard, and he does take him down. Gar is now watching at short A. Counter Terrace still have position inside of B tunnels. They should be. Oh, that nade does take out Freebirds. We saw that thing coming. Gar is feeling pretty good about himself. Let's see if the Terrace keep pushing here. We've never really seen Ninjas in Pajamas back off of this short push. Let's see if they do it this time. 
Whole bunch of flashes going across. Exist jumps out and tries to feed the kill to Forest. Gares now to hold it off by himself before the teammates rotate. Semphis now one versus true, taking on Exist and Forest, who play so well together. Whoa. Um, now a one versus one. Semphis versus Exist. 40 seconds left. He won't be able to plant this bomb because Semphis will get the drop on him unless Semphis pulls back too far. Exist now 35 seconds left. May have to try to do a fake plant. And we do have Semphis pulling back. Exist instead is going to go for the frag. And there he is, down to 20 health. Exist still at 100, knows where he is, will be able to plant the bomb safely. Semphis does not have time. Now will be walking, gave himself away a little bit. Exist now going for the final kill. And Semphis takes him down, one hit headshot. Even though at 20 health, even though Exist outmaneuvered him, outplayed him, and was able to whittle his health down, he still got the one hit headshot and will win that point for his team. Complexity now at four points, well on their way to getting that six. Two rounds left, they have the money, and uh, Ninjas in Pajamas, though, will not have to save. Nope, not at all. Alright, Ninjas in Pajamas not going to be opping. Exists, there he goes, all AK-47s, full AK-47. And Garrus, let's see where they stick the opper. On this round. So, smoke for middle. Nope. Just had that out for them. Uh, they're deciding who's going to smoke for middle. To allow them to cross, three players at B, so they're probably going to do this push into B tunnels again. Let's see if they are... Nope, they are not doing that. Now pulling back to middle, based on whatever smokes or flashes that they saw. Now have three players inside of CT spawn, rotating over to bomb site A. To watch for short. They do that by throwing strategic defensive smokes that they know ninjas in pajamas won't push through. And then rotate around so they're able to watch whatever position they want. Eventually those smokes will uh, wear off though. And Ninjas in Pajamas will have the advantage. Free burst. Entry frags. Nothing. Pulls out the pistol. Still able to take out Forrest. What is going on here? Ninjas in Pajamas not making the shots. Now three versus four. Complexity has an advantage. Check out our money. They will be able to buy next round though for last round. And Exist going for the headshot. Hiko pulls out to take the frag, but Exist has already pulled back. And he's taken out one versus two there. Not a good position to be in. Flaren goes down, just get right left. Swag, of course, is behind him, though. So if he pulls out here, he is in big trouble. There's Swag, though, running around. And he does go down. Complexity outmaneuvers Ninjas in Pajamas that round. Puts this thing at 9-4. Well on their way to that six points. Looking good now for Complexity. They are definitely coming back. And we'll see how much money that Ninjas in Pajamas has. If they're able to buy everything that they want. Um, we actually do not have everything they want. Forest here with a Galil. We do not have full flashes and nades. Just one flash apiece for Freebird and Forest. They've spent all of their money. Except for Fuflaren. Surprisingly has a bunch of money. And Forest is dead. This is not going to be an easy round for the Ninjas in Pajamas. They just lost Forest. Four players left. All right, Semphis watching middle. That nade should hit Freebird. And it does, down to 58 health. Exist going for the pick at middle as well. And we have one player sneaking up behind him. That's Hiko who turns the wrong way and misses his opportunity. Now it looks like Terrace will be pushing into B site, coming in quickly so that they do not get flanked. Swag is dead. And unfortunately, it looks like Counter Terrace have lost that little bit of an advantage. Hiko takes down for Flaren. Evens it up, but Terrace had a positional advantage. Have one smoke left. And it looks like Complexity, though, has all the smokes and flashes that they need to take this thing. Here they go now, pushing into the site. Smokes are down. Grez jumping up there. And now a two versus two. Just nothing left. One versus one against Freebirds. And he does go down. Freebirds takes it. Ends this thing. 10-5. Putting themselves well ahead for this second half. All right. Looks like we are ready for the second half. Looks like Ninjas in Pajamas will lead this thing, and they are now on counter-terrorist side, where they are strongest. There's, of course, Dust 2, though. Terrorist-sided map complexity still has their work cut out for them. They have to play an incredible game. It, it pretty much all comes down to this pistol round, because this pistol round is worth a lot. Counter-terrorists win the pistol round. There go two rounds immediately from complexity, and a third round that's going to be difficult. So, yeah, complexity now really needs to win this thing. They're going to win six points to win this game. And uh, they will be pushing down middle and spraying it. They don't hit anybody. And we do have a push here, Fast Cat. We have a P2000 on Freebirds. That is weird. And he takes out nothing with a one-hit headshot. 
Brilliant. Oh, but Semphis takes them both down. Now it looks like Terrace will be pushing into A. Here comes the rotate, though. Exist is in position. Forest goes down. Looks like they will get this pistol round, though. Just for Flaren left. One versus four. Semphis at four. Frags. And for Flaren with this uh, copper. Brass, awesome Glock goes down to Hiko. We need to get an Owl Vision on that by Semphis. Now that just kept his team in the game there. Brilliant play by Zemphis. We're back into this thing. Complexity will be able to buy. Ninjas in pajamas now will have to save for the next two rounds. And not looking good for them. All right, we do have a 5-7 on Freeburn, and we have an ex uh, Deagle. Love that thing. Hypnotic on Exist here. And we do have terrorists inside of B-Tunnels. Get right rotating over here as well. Terrace not making a move yet. They have picked off Forest. It's simple. We kill Forest. Seems to be the strategy here from Team Complexity. And it's working out for them. There goes Freebenners. Looking bad for ninjas in pajamas. Let's see Exist. Come on now. Five Deegs to the face. Nope, not going to happen. This is, this is Counter-Strike Global Offensive where the Deagle is really, really difficult to use. This thing is, you, you, I mean, wow. Very difficult to use. Not for the faint of heart. And there's Hiko. Takes him down to the wall. Just get right left. Takes a frag before going down. Ninjas in Pajama loses that thing. Complexity coming back. Didn't expect anything else on that round, though. And now is the decision. Nope. Ninjas in pajamas, very low on money, will be buying fourth round. And will not have an upgrade here from Complexity, and that is wise. Oh, we do have an upgrade on Semphis. And we will have a wasted MP7 Skulls on the ground. All right, Ninjas in pajamas. Two players inside of B at the start is a pistol round, so they want to get into sneaky positions. Let's get right over here at the sneaky position. Trying to get the drop on them. Hiko should see these players sneaking in here and pick them off. So here's Hiko with his Galil, and good shot, does take a flash, and he goes down, they will get that gun, that is so great for them, nothing though is watching this to make sure they can't run out, nothing picks them all down, just Forrest left, one versus four, and he is dead, ninjas in pajamas, it was a nice try there, they bought one flash, used it to try and steal that Galil, but nothing was in position to deal with it, and denied it from them, so now ninjas in pajamas, 10 to 8, complexity is coming back, almost evening it up, Looking very good. But here we go, the first full buy round. Let's see if Complexity has what it takes to break the defenses of the ninjas in pajamas to break this brilliant CT side hold. And this is as classic as you get with the setup here. One player should rotate back to CT spawn from long. One player should rotate to watch middle as well. Free Bears will stay watching short. And it looks like Exist will be the rotate back player, leaving Git right here. The Flaren set up inside of B in case they decide to push Forest watching middle. We'll also be able to help at B. And here comes Exist rotating back to CT. And we'll see if Complexity knows how to break this. So here's Get Right. I love that parkour stuff jumping up into the uh, the blue here. This sneaky spot. They pop out, you can only see his head. The crazy sneaky position here. And that smoke will prevent them from pushing. They definitely wanted to push there. They had all of their apples in one basket, all of their eggs in one carton, all of their peas in one casserole, getting ready to push at long, and they had to abandon it now and rotate over here, and it looks like they will try to push at short. Freebird getting ready for the call. When he, when he hears somebody or when someone calls it, he will throw that flash, and then Exist will be able to mow these guys down as they run out. Well, let's see if they pull it off here. Get right still at long just in case one player is at long to contest it. Flash has been thrown. Free Bears did not throw it. Exist picks off nothing who came from CT spawn. Did jump down there and Free Bears gets the pick. Yes, takes it. Knew that was going to happen. That was very smart. Had Exist there going for shots and allowed Free Bears to take it at the last second. Now a two versus one. Hiko has already taken two frags here. Taken out uh, Get Right to sneak over here. 
Not able to hit him with this AK-47, and the timer runs out. Ninjas in Pajamas takes it, and Hiko still dies. That is so bad for Hiko. Check out his money. He is down, down, down. Terrorists should be able to full buy, but what happened is counter-terrorists win. That means that Hiko does not get money for the next round because Bomb was not planted. When counter-terrorists win, Bomb is not planted, and a terrorist is still alive, he doesn't get money for the next round. And if he dies, he loses the gun he is holding. So Hiko, worst case scenario for him, he had to have a teammate buy him a Galil. Now complexity is going to be money hurt just because of that mistake. They will most definitely be money hurt. This is a very important round for them to stay in this game. And they are still in this game, guys, definitely. 8 to 11, T-sided. Complexity can definitely come back. It is not too much of an undertaking. Here's Free Bear. Watching short. Smokes are down. Defensive smokes to prevent them from pushing. We've seen a lot of uh, fighting going on at middle as well in this game. And they will be pushing at short once again. Short is usually the weak point of a team who sets up in a standard uh, position. They have been putting Free Bear there close at short. So if they pick him off, they will have free reign of the bomb site. Exists now watching for rotates here. Counter terrorists have to set up for the retake. It is a very difficult retake. Oh, but nothing jumps down there into CT spawn and dies. Hiko very close, but Flaren goes down. Counter terrorists trying to retake it. Semphis inside of the smoke. Exists did see him though. He knows where he is. Two versus two. Force getting in position at short. While Exists sneaks up from behind. Semphis takes him out and then Force should push. And there's Gers. And Exist takes him down, Ninjas in Pajamas takes that thing, will be defusing, that was a brilliant retake by those two players, very good two versus two, and they will defuse that bomb with seconds to spare, but it's always seconds to spare because the bomb timer is not a minute long, so that terminology is stupid, with a few seconds to spare, there we go, and Complexity will have to sh Virtus Pro buy. Nope, they are going to be full buying. They did have the money for it, but check that out. Swag needs to buy himself one of them decoys and put this at 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and put it at we really, really have to win this round. And smoke will prevent them from pushing. Oh, nothing's going for it, but Get Right takes him. Hiko's going for it, but Get Right takes him. Not looking like a promising uh, Hail Mary here from Complexity. And here's Swag. Four is through the door. Down low. Do have one player low, but they've lost two players already. We have Semphis peeking. Going after Forest. Faflaren has pulled back to help him. There's a nade. Ooh, took that flash right in the face. Has to pull back here. And they will be pushing. Forest at 13 health. They're going to just do a B rush. Here they go. Three players. This is the Hail Mary that you have been waiting for. Forest expertly playing this as Faflaren gets into position. Forrest sacrifices himself for positional advantage. Freebirds comes through the door and easily cleans up the three rest of them. Nice. Ninjas in Pajamas at 13 points. Complexity at 8. Check out that money they have to save. That'll put Ninjas in Pajamas at 14. That's not good for Complexity. Oh, look at that. Deagle spin, deagle spin. Love watching that. Here is Symphys now. Deagle spin going for some deegs. Probably not going to happen. But we shall see a valiant effort nonetheless. All right, it's two counter terrorists there. Pre-nading in case it was a long push. That would have been unfortunate if it was, and it is. So ninjas in pajamas knows what's... Oh, there we go! One deeg on get right. There we go. Can we see another? There is a five deeg against exist. Memphis going for more. And is the deagle back? Have players learned it? No. Did take out two players with that thing. Nice attempt. Liberated an M4 here on Swag. Now a one versus three, a doable situation, but didn't happen. Ninjas in pajamas at 14 points. Love them digs. All right, here we go. This is the round. Complexity needs to win this thing. I don't know if the blue shell effect will help them too much on the next round, so this is it. Gares will be watching mid with this off. See him position himself for it to see how many cross. And there's one. Smoke is down, so he doesn't know now. There are three crosses, so they don't want to push into B, but they're set up to go down lower. They're probably not going to try and peek or do anything here. Defensive smokes are already out. Nope, they are staying here. Normally when players set up like this, they do push down lower and take middle, and then decide what to do from there. Free better goes down to a spray fight with Hiko. Don't worry, though. Exist is still in position to watch here. 
Gidright gets picked through the middle. Now it's just Fafleren by himself. Over here at uh, B side, well, we have two players at A. This may be the round. Now with three versus five, Complexity has a huge, huge advantage. Forrest pushes down here at short. I think they know where he is. Oh, brilliant shot. There's Swag jumps down. So that one, none of that. Shoots him through the corner there. That was nice. Swag with a perfect shot on Exist. And, oh, another perfect shot. There's Swag, but Swag goes down to Fafleren. One versus three. Can he do it? And the Terrors have taken A. So Fafleren definitely has his work cut out for him here to try and put the last nail into the coffin here of Complexity. Let's see if he goes for Exit Frags or if he goes for the game. And it will be a save. Not even going for them Exit Frags. Fafleren turns and runs and will be hiding, and that will be the round. So Complexity here wins this thing, keeps themselves in the game. They do have a chance to come back and win this thing. Eight points, put them at nine points there, but they have to keep winning over and over again. That round was incredibly, incredibly important for them. Ninjas in pajamas. Flaren once again is hiding. And that bomb will blow up. So we're moving on to the next round. Complexity has been doing a pretty good job here at T-side, but they've been pushing short A a lot. Nearly every round they do push up short. See if Ninjas in Pajamas gets wise to this and, and uh, modifies their setup and maybe puts a player at car or back in the site and doesn't have a player so far forward at short who gets picked. Because once that player gets picked, there you go, free range, short, have it. And that will be Freebear who keeps getting picked there. Let's we'll see where Freebear does set up this time. Freiburg here, getting ready to throw a flash. I'm sorry, I couldn't help myself with that. Freiburg, the Swedish player. And terrorists are playing incredibly, incredibly passive. I'll show you how passive they're playing. Here's Semphis back at the palm trees slash telephone poles. And incredibly, incredibly passive. There is a smoke for a mid to B. It doesn't look like they're faking a mid to B because it looks like they are going to run into B. They're not pushing out middle. That is That smoke did not work. And terrorists still being passive. They're set up to just push into B. Will they do it? Here's Forrest. Fafleren will hear something, will call. Forrest will fall back and watch that. One player will drop down CT to watch Forrest's back. Here they come, they're walking in. Fafleren, there's the tell. Should call it. Forrest, not watching it. It will be up to Fafleren. Fafleren goes down. Come on, Forrest. And terrorists do have a sight now. Counter terrorists have to do the retake. We still have nothing here at middle. Sneaking up behind him. This looks like another round for complexity. Now a two versus three have to do the retake. Exist and Forest. Forest is now dead. Goes behind enemy lines there. Somehow picked up an op, and they are now dead. Ninjas in pajamas loses that complexity now at 10 points. Coming back into this thing. Looking good for them. Let's check out the money on the ninjas in pajamas. And they will have to save. So another round of complexity. This is looking really good. This could be the comeback that they need. Make a good showing here. Ninjas in pajamas here in the grand finals. Probably thought they were just going to walk waltz right through it and take the prize. But complexity is making them, giving them a real game here. A real run for their money. Playing superbly. And Terrace playing passive once again. There was a, an opportunity for the Terrace to push and do something at B. Before that smoke came down. The smoke was super delayed. But they didn't. And they, it's good, though. They're playing very wisely. They're playing passively because they know that it is a save round from the ninjas in pajamas, so they don't have to get too crazy. All they have to do is engage them in proper battles. They can't get tricked. If they get tricked, they have a chance of losing some weapons. Just engage them in proper battles, long-range battles. Ninjas in pajamas. Still holding it off here. Fafleren gives away his position. Looks like they're going for the frag now. They have no one else to sort of help Fafleren with this. And now it looks like they will be pushing at short A. And here they come. Here's Gares. Peeking with the op. Usually you send in uh, AK-47 person first. We'll see if he just goes for the picks with this thing. And he's got three players there with pistols. Here comes nothing to be the entry fragger. And Gares goes for the pick and falls back. Looks like they're not going to push here. They've got in all of the ninjas in pajamas to rotate. Now we'll be pushing all the way around and going B. Ninjas in pajamas will not be able to rotate fast enough to get it. And they'll just be able to see them cross here. For Flaren will die fairly soon. Oh, just survives. Whole bunch of rounds. Doesn't even get hit once there. 
and gets like a whole mafia style spray out going against him. There he goes, finally going down. Forrest going for the shots, not gonna happen. Two of them left. Where is Get Right? Exist picks up an AK-47, may want to save this for next round, go for the exit frags, but it looks like all of the terrorists should exit through middle. They already have Semphis here to make sure there's nobody going for the exit frags, and it looks like another round will go to the ninjas in pajamas. I mean, I'm sorry, ahem, complexity, coming back big time, but that was a good, no it wasn't, it was not a good save round, because they didn't do much. Well, here's Exist, what, what is nothing doing? Oh, nothing gets himself, almost got himself killed. Here comes Semphis from the back at the last second. Does take him down. No AK-47 for you exist. Whoa! We almost had a ninja battle there. Player was like up in the air, getting ready to strike with his talons. Ninjas in pajamas just performed very poorly on that pistol round. Lost those weapons at the last second. Now at 14 points, complexity at 11, we'll be able to buy this round. Blue shell effect will start to hit in for the ninjas in pajamas. M4A1s, a little bit cheaper than the M4A4s. But Forrest is in the sneaky, evil little position. We'll be picking off players. Looking bad for complexity already. They've had picks go off on them. Now we have two players here at short. Whoa, we have two picks now. Forrest and Exist are dead. Hiko there inside of long A. However, it looks like Zemphis just pushes here and does take. Nope, he is dead. Hiko, one versus two, can he do it with the bomb? There's nobody at B. He should have position, based on what his teammates are telling him, to know where both of these players are. They were inside of A. At this point, he sort of has a screen of where they can be. Why is that yellow? I hate yellow. Terrible color. Green is okay. Now closing in. Now they can be on top of him. So he's being a little bit more cautious. Over the plant, but he's listening when he does this. And radius is completely closed, and there it is. He is dead. And they will be defusing that thing. Ninjas in pajamas putting themselves at 15 points. Let's see if Complexity can buy for next round. Looks like they will definitely be able to buy for this round. And uh, definitely, this is it, guys. Putting it match point with a buy round from Complexity. It is now time for Complexity to win out. They have to win these next four rounds to push it into an overtime. Can they do it? Gares with the op. Is T-Side dust too? I've been playing ninjas in pajamas. They maybe have learned a little bit of the weaknesses of how they've been playing specifically this time. They've been abusing that short and getting a few rounds off of that. Playing very well against them here. And here's Gares. Two players cross. Does count two of them, but three could have crossed after that smoke went down. The flare and hold them off to make sure they can't push. Ooh, takes a nade. A little bit of health down for him. Jaris now will be taking middle, so they're doing very standard. They can do anything from this middle position. And maybe going short, abusing it. Freebear is inside of the CT spawn. And we have Exist here, over at the car. And they're not pushing just yet, being pretty passive. Freebear wants to kill some people. At middle, Semphis. Looked like he wanted to push there. That is a smoke for a mid to B, so I think it's a fake mid to B, and then a push into A site. No, there was the timing for that, so not going to happen. Still at middle, 50 seconds left. Time whittling down. Semphis just walks through middle and goes down. Freebird kills him and runs away. Now Forrest is on the other side. Garrus knows that there's a guy on his right. And that's gotta give him the EBGBs. And there's Forrest, takes him down. Looking good. A little fight here by Faflaren and Swag. Swag is definitely a good shot, though. Faflaren hiding for his teammates. Now a two versus four. Hiko has a player behind him. That is Gidright, and Gidright picks him off as Freebear makes himself a target as he does so well. However, able to really control that M4 very well, and that is the game. GG Ninjas in Pajamas wins that thing. Thank you, folks, very much for watching. Stay tuned for game number two. I am the War Al, and I still have no closer.